Hello, welcome to Gemstone Tarot. Uh, Thursday, 21st. So I'm just looking for my book. 21st of April, 2022. We have one cat. There she is. Sleeping soundly. Valentine's off on an adventure down at the park, I think, with her friends. Uh, black cat and ginger cat. Where are we up to? Ah, okay. I love that. We're going to do a couple of facts from 1200 Fun Random and Interesting Facts that you need to know to win trivia. If any of you ever win trivia from doing this, I want a shout out, please. Tell me all about it. I will advertise it widely. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. In order to slow drivers down, optical illusion speed bumps are now being used. Not around here, they're not. This was first introduced in Vancouver and now other provinces and states in the US are experimenting with it. Let me know, okay? Are there any optical illusion speed bumps near you? And where are you? One of them involves a three-dimensional little girl chasing a ball. That's really scary <laughs> because you're not going to know if it's real or not. And then maybe if it's a real person, you're going to go, that's okay, it's just a drill. Do you know what I mean? I'm not sure about that. I'm really not sure about that. Okay. In 2012, the first solar power ski lift in the world was built in the town of Tenna, Switzerland. It has around 80 solar panels on it and can pull 800 skiers up the mountain per hour. That's good. A material that can turn heat from your body into electrical currents has been developed by scientists. The new material is called power felt. Power felt. And now, introducing power felt. I only say that because for me and for those around my age group, felt is going to make you think of like fuzzy felt. Do you remember fuzzy felt? And all the things you used to do at school, like with felt petals and making flowers and all the rest of it. Just saying. Since 1878, the headphone jack, like the one some smartphones have has now, has remained relatively unchanged other than size. That's interesting. Someone, and I know why, although I'm not a fan of it, but I can understand why, has invented a type of knife for the sole purpose of being able to empty a Nutella jar clean. Let me know your feelings on Nutella, okay? When I was a kid, and a lot of my friends would have Nutella, and it came in quite attractive packaging, didn't it? I used to think, oh yes, this is such a good idea. It's like hot buttered toast, yes. Chocolate, yes, yes, yes. Chocolate and hazelnut or whatever it was. And I used to think, yes. Then I would lavishly spread it on my toast and then I'd try and eat it and it would just get all claggy and I'd think, mm, no. So I wish that I liked it, but I never did. That's my thoughts on Nutella. I think it's divisive. So let me know, where do you stand on the Nutella thing? Okay, it's a thing. Right away, we're going just right away. Okay, right away. Right away. <laughs> come, come now with your reversal. Woo! With your reversals and your towers and whatnot. Ooh. Okay, it's quite a strong reading today. I'm going to leave it there and I'm going to, I'm going to, Put the cards here and biddly bop in a minute. Let's biddly bop. Okay. Wow, someone grinding the gears outside. You do get some bad drivers around here because it's quite hard to park. You either, you know, it's it's Darwinism at its finest here. You either learn to park or you don't. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Anywho, right. Let's let's come in a bit and let's straighten up. They're still wonky, aren't they? But never mind. Okay. Sort of a bit of this, bit of that. At the top, we've got almost all reversals. We've got four reversed cards. 
nice. This Seven of Pentacles, this is a card of rethinking things. Not being quite satisfied with where you're at, what you've got, what you're doing, particularly in terms of pentacles. So for some of you, this could represent what you do for a living or work, okay? Someone is kind of contemplating and they're thinking to themselves, is this enough? I've put all this effort in. I've done all this work, I've made all this investment, whether it's emotional, whether it's um, financial, or whether it's just effort, you know, good old fashioned effort. And I'm not sure, I'm not sure, A, if there is a reward, or even more complicated or important, I'm sure there is a reward, but I'm not sure if I want it. I know, what I used to think would make me happy, I'm not so fussed about now. Okay, page of pentacles in reverse. Again, this is jam tomorrow. You're thinking I'll do this jam tomorrow or do this jam tomorrow or Nutella the next day. And that's okay because I know why I'm doing it. I'm in the long game, I'm gonna get the reward. Put it into the reverse and you're thinking, I'm not sure. I'm not sure that the long-term effort is gonna pay off. I'm not sure I'm backing the right horse. Hanged man in reverse, nevertheless, or that notwithstanding, um, the train has left the station. It's like the momentum's starting. But the momentum is running into eclipse season and all kinds of shenanigans astrologically, okay? It's not straightforward and you can feel it's not straightforward. So feel free to change your mind a hundred times or to be in a constant flux of mind changing and not to even want to pin it down to one thing or another yet because we have the ace of pentacles in reverse and the ace of pentacles is this is sound you know a sound investment a sound beginning i'm going to do this when it's in reverse it's like yeah, hey way whoa, whoa whoa nelly hold your horses not just yet you know don't plant that massive seed just yet don't uh, don't drop that coin till you bite it okay this feels like you don't quite know everything you need to know about something you were going to move forward with. Then we get Queen of Swords. Off with his head. Queen of Swords, she is very forthright, very direct. A few of you might actually be dealing with a character like this, a Queen of Swords character. But for most of us, it's a call from the universe to be forthright, to be accurate, and to be entirely um, rejecting of anything that isn't gonna take us to our goal, okay? Then we get uh, the end of April, which is kind of coming up, and I can sort of feel the energy building like this, that's energy building. We've got this tower card with the death card. <laughs> Kaboom! <laughs> shebang this is if you haven't paid attention to this and this is how the universe works isn't it it's like red flag i'm having a little fate at the church i'm putting out my bunting and the bunting is a red flag have a look at this red flag i don't know why i'm singing so much today it's very like operatic isn't it but not quite um but that's what the universe does it's like hi have you seen this red flag, anybody? Red, <coughs> red flag, anybody? And then you're like, mm, what? Mm, no, uh, who, what? So if you don't pick up on it and you don't have to, the universe will bring it. It'll be like, it's probably gonna bring it anyway, but it's a lot easier if you already knew and you were already kind of going down that path of perhaps this isn't gonna be the way it's gonna be. Big change here. It may even seem like a little revelation to you, but it's a revelation nonetheless. We've had notwithstanding and nonetheless. Yes. I still haven't quite got to grips with the hence, but I'm going to go with my intuition about when to use it. Okay. Death card. Change. Don't resist it. Okay. It runs straight into the Ten of Cups. Woohoo! Somewhere over the rainbow, if you've got the balls to go there, is what it's saying. Probably not what she sang in the song or anything that you would probably put on a t-shirt. I would. Okay, justice in reverse. For Some of these things are not gonna seem fair because they're not fair. 
Sometimes you've got to call it what it is. Sometimes the universe isn't fair. We all know this by now. But work with that energy because sometimes when you get comfortable with the universe not being fair, it's a great freedom. There's a great freedom in that. And then Ace of Swords hiding behind the box. No one puts baby in the corner. Straight up swing to the Queen of Swords. So it's two swords here and those are epiphanies. And epiphanies are not always like, you know how they're advertised? Um, I'm just getting you an oracle card, you know, in that whole la, and then I had an epiphany. Sometimes epiphanies are so kind of like, they seem like nothing at the time. It's just this, for me, my epiphanies are always when there's been like mad amounts of opportunities to have epiphanies. And I'm like, mm, a bit like the red flags, you know, but I'm like epiphanies everywhere. And I'm like, uh, what? And then suddenly I'll go, ding. It's that. And you know it, like you never know anything else, don't you, at that point. So don't expect bells, whistles, angels, glitter, unicorns. It could come with any amount of annoyance or whatever, but epiphany it will be nonetheless. Nonetheless. Who had a dictionary for breakfast this morning? Okay, I'm gonna biddly bop back, billy bop, bolly bit, bolly bit, billy bolly bit, bop. <laughs> here and now. Okay, we're in the here and now. This is um, mindfulness, staying in the here and now. It's gonna be tricky because you're kind of being pulled forwards and you're kind of being pulled back. I get that energy. If we can stay in the here and now, like the Queen of Swords though, and keep our clarity and our wits about us, I really feel like we can embrace the red flags before they take us down, okay? Leave me a comment, let me know how it resonates. I will see you tomorrow. Namaste.